In this example, we will create and simulate an advanced slider with interactive pricing. The advanced custom slider consists of a slider bar with a slider icon that moves horizontally across the bar, as well as an expression to change the numbers displayed according to the position of the icon, like a price bar. To reproduce this example, create a new web wireframe. Drag a dynamic panel to the canvas. Resize it and position it to match our example. Drag a rectangle widget into the dynamic panel and resize it to match our example. This will be our slider bar. Change the style in the Properties tab as desired. We're changing the background color and border style. Drag an ellipse to the dynamic panel to represent the slider icon that users will move across the bar. Resize it as desired. Place the icon towards the left end of the slider bar. Change the style in the Properties tab. We're changing the border style. Use text boxes to replicate the price information below the dynamic panels. You will need four text boxes in total, two to display the dollar symbols, and two more to show the numerical price value that will change upon simulation. Select the ellipse and go to the Events tab. Add an On Drag and Move event. Select the ellipse as the element to be moved. Below, set the left position to With Cursor and the top position to Current. Tick the Constraint by Parent container. Click OK. Click on the gear above this event. Add an On Drag and Insert Into event. Select the ellipse as the element to insert into another. Select panel 1 of the dynamic panel as the element you wish to insert it into. Click on the gear above this event again. Add an on drag and set value event. Select the text box containing the number 0 and, in the expression builder, drag the round function to the first position. Drag the ellipse to the second. From the drop down below the second position, Select the Pause X Relative option. Drag the Division function to the third position. Drag the Rectangle slider to the fourth. From the drop down below the second position, select the Width option. Drag the Minus function to the fifth position. Drag the Ellipse to the sixth position. From the drop down below the second position, select the Width option. Drag the Multiply function to the seventh position. In the circle that follows, type 1000. In the final circle, type 0. Click OK twice. And that's it. Click Simulate to see and interact with your wireframe. You will be able to drag the slider icon from left to right across the slider bar. As you drag the slider left, the price minimum will increase on the left.